Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. As its name implies, Shark is an animal protection organization, but sometimes our mission overlaps with efforts to help the environment and or human beings. Those of you who have followed our efforts know that we've exposed a pigeon shooter named Adolf Joseph Antonavage on a number of occasions. Antonavage is a Pennsylvania lawyer with a long history of involvement in cruel and illegal pigeon shoots. We've also filmed pigeon shooters, including Adolf Antonavage, blasting away at their victims in front of the Confederate flag. It was bad enough that the Pennsylvania State Police engaged Antonavage to be a solicitor for one of their lodges, but when Pennsylvania Governor Tom Corbett picked Adolf Antonavage to be a judge, we decided we needed to take further steps. Our concern was further heightened when we learned that now Judge Antonavage was presiding over domestic cases. This means Antonavage, who was documented enjoying himself in front of a symbol of hate and bigotry, is deciding the fate of people who were often the target of that hate and bigotry. You don't want someone who leisures in front of the Confederate flag making decisions about the lives of people. Judge Antonavage has been given numerous opportunities to respond about his history of cruelty and that Confederate flag, and he won't even respond. One of those giving Antonavage a chance to speak up was Allentown Morning Call columnist Paul Carpenter, who wrote, I tried to get the judge's take on this, but he did not respond. Mr. Carpenter, in fact, told me personally that he tried many times to get a response from Judge Antonavage with no success. We contacted three organizations to claim to work on behalf of civil rights. The National Action Network, which is Reverend Al Sharpton's organization. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, and the Southern Poverty Law Center. All of these organizations acknowledged our communication and indicated they would get back to us. That didn't happen. Google these organizations and put Confederate flag after their name, and you'll see that they've all made a lot of noise about Confederate flags. However, in the case of Judge Antonavage, these organizations have remained silent, and I can't imagine why that's the case. Are these three supposed civil rights organizations willing to allow this, to allow Adolf Antonavage to sit in judgment of people without even admitting and explaining what he has done? If so, these organizations have betrayed and abandoned their mission. We are calling out the National Action Network, the NAACP, and the Southern Poverty Law Center. I emailed the Law Center back in September 2014 and received a confirmation of receipt, then nothing further. Shark agrees with the American Psychiatric Association and progressive police departments which recognize that those who abuse animals are more inclined to abuse people. Now we are asking those who claim to advocate for the most vulnerable people in our society to step up and execute their mission. We'll update this issue as there are developments and annotate about it right here. Let's hope that these organizations will do what they claim to do. Please help us to get action. There will be contact information for all three of these organizations at the end of this video. It would help a lot if you would pass on any response that you receive. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.